stroke is a leading cause of a long-term adult disability in this country. And for that reason and that reason alone, it is one of the most devastating illnesses that we have to treat as physicians. And more importantly, the effects of stroke in many cases can be prevented if you can treat the patient soon enough. Time is critically, critically important when you're treating stroke patients. And so everything we can do from the moment that that individual starts to have a stroke to the time that we can treat them is vital. The longest delay in treating folks is not once they get to the hospital, but before they get to the hospital. And that's even more important in our area where many of our patients live in rural outposts and it may take a while for the ambulance to get to them and then take an even longer period for them to get to the hospital. I treat is really designed to help support patients from rural communities to get the care they need quickly. Every minute in a stroke matters. And for us to be able to take the blazing speed of the internet and apply that in the back of an ambulance to a patient so that we can make the decisions that need to be made here uh, in order to treat that patient with life-saving drugs means everything. We can take our current technology, which is part of the iTreat platform that we've developed, which is essentially a, a tablet-based device like an iPad, a high-speed modem, and some magnetic antennae, and we can, we can set up an ambulance such that uh, me, the neurologist, uh, my colleagues in the emergency medicine department can video in and do um, teleconsultation with a patient in a stretcher in the back of an ambulance while they're traveling to the hospital. We are raising $10,000 in order to equip two additional ambulances in our project where we're trying to improve the treatment times in stroke patients. We are in the process of installing 12 ambulances in, within four counties in the Central Virginia area. Uh, the counties consist of Nelson, Green, Albemarle, and Louisa. Having an iPad uh, that will allow us to connect with the physician wirelessly, we go directly from transport unit to the CT scanner, and then from there they can decide if the patient should come back to the emergency department or should they go to the neuro unit. I really believe that by just giving a little bit to this project and supporting the idea of using this simple technology to treat stroke patients, you are literally uh, taking your dollars and applying them to time in acute stroke, which I think directly translates to a greater likelihood that they could walk out of the hospital as opposed to going to a nursing home. The other important aspect is it's something that once developed and once um, tested just here in our area, it could theoretically be generalized to other areas of the country and help stroke patients all over.